Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve or improve Google Chrome's download speed if it's acting very slow or sluggish. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Chrome web browser. And you want to type up in the address bar, Chrome, colon, forward slash forward slash flags, exactly how you see it on my screen here. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now in the search flags field, you want to first search for parallel downloading. Go ahead and click inside the drop down here and select enabled. Once you're done with that, go ahead and select relaunch. Once you're done with that, close out of here and then relaunch Chrome. Head back to this menu setting button and select settings. We're going to now at this point go ahead and just click inside the search settings field and type in continue running background apps. And where it says continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed, go ahead and toggle that to the off position. And then once that's done, you can just go ahead and close out of Chrome again. Now open up the search icon in the taskbar. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with a command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed a DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen here. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should say successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So at this point, close out of here and go ahead and actually restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, it should have been as simple as that. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.